What's up, Pixar fans? Welcome back to another review. Dan Taylor from danthepixarfan.com here, and today I'm taking a detailed look at the brand new Pixar Featured Favorites Inside Out inspired Bing Bong figure by Mattel. I've been so excited for this one ever since the initial reveal I shared clear back in October last year, so it's thrilling to finally have this figure in hand ready to review for you guys. So I've explained this Featured Favorites series before in previous videos, but I wanna keep you guys in the loop if this is your first exposure to Mattel's Pixar Featured Favorites figures, so here's what they're all about. Back in 2019, with the release of Toy Story 4, Mattel created their line of seven inch scale action figures, which you probably know if you're a regular here on my channel. And then over the years since then, Mattel has expanded that seven inch scale line to go beyond Toy Story, covering just about every Pixar film out there from Toy Story through Luca. Long story short, this featured favorite series is a part of that same broader core seven inch scale line. It's just one of the many subcategories within the line if that makes sense, which also includes Pixar Interactables, the Pixar Spotlight series, and more. So you might be asking yourself, what's the difference between featured favorites figures and the other categories in Mattel's Pixar 7-inch scale line? Well, figures in this featured favorites category retail for around $21, so as far as pricing and quality, things here essentially fall right in the middle between Mattel's core $10 uh, Pixar 7-inch scale figures and Mattel's more premium $40 Pixar Spotlight series 7-inch scale figures. The general idea or strategy behind Pixar featured favorites is very similar to the Pixar Spotlight series category, and that it gives Mattel the chance to cater a bit more to older fans and collectors and finally release or feature some unexpected fan favorite Pixar characters from older films that are perhaps a little less marketable to kids right now, or maybe they just wouldn't really fit in with the kid-centered $10 figures, all while providing more storytelling accessories, more articulation, and a little bit more detail than they normally would get away with in the basic line. So to clear up any confusion, I've seen a lot of folks out there thinking the featured favorites figures are the same as the Spotlight series figures, while they are in fact two separate categories within the seven inch scale line. I guess I understand the confusion though, since they both do have strikingly similar strategies behind them. Really the main difference is the presentation and that the featured favorites figures are just at a more affordable mass market price point. Phew, well, I tried to explain things as clear as possible, but this seven inch scale figure line has become a bit convoluted to follow over the years. Um, so it's kind of difficult to explain and I wanna help new collectors understand what it's all about. Okay, anyway, back to Bing Bong here. His packaging presentation looks excellent as always. We have the same featured favorites layout and design that's used for all the figures in this line. So nothing new as far as the packaging, but it does look clean and simple. I dig it. It says Bing Bong on the side there. Then on the back of the box, here we have um, some great shots of the figure and accessories and call outs to specific features as usual. The biggest surprise to me that I had no idea about was that he's cotton candy scented. Of course, since Bing Bong is made up of mostly cotton candy, in the film. Um, I have the Bing Bong plush from 2015 and that's also cotton candy scented, but I'm used to scented plush. I have no idea how that works with a plastic action figure, but we shall see here in a minute. That's awesome though. So Bing Bong is part of wave two of Pixar featured favorites figures. He's one of four figures in this wave and eight figures total so far. And you can see the rest of wave two here, which includes Crush with Squirt, which I have already. So look forward to that review soon. Celia with Mike and Flick with Dot. Well, that's it for the back, I think. On the side here, we have this nice render of Bing Bong himself, and back to the front. Okay, let's get this cotton candy cat elephant dolphin hybrid out of the box and check out everything he has to offer. And here he comes, he slides out nice and easily on the blister so you can preserve most of the integrity of the packaging. Um, first though, before I pop everything out of the blister, remember that the cardboard backdrop is removable as well, just like it is with the Pixar Spotlight series, which is such a nice touch by the way. This backdrop featuring long-term memory is perfect for displaying the figure loose against, and or this will also come in handy for toy photographers as well. So here he is on the blister. We got the figure, a yellow joyous memory orb accessory, his magical bottomless bag, and a removable tail. Now, as far as the cotton candy scent, I smell it. It's definitely there. It's subtle, it's not overpowering, but it's certainly there upon opening at least. Not really sure where it's stemming from or how long it will last though. Now let's go ahead and get that tail assembled. Just snaps in here like so. Simple and done. Okay, that's that. Bing Bong is good to go. And how awesome does this figure look, guys? Though he is similar in size and in look to the Tomy musical Bing Bong figure from 2015, which I'll show here soon to compare, this Mattel version improves on that figure in almost every way, honestly. Now, as far as articulation, let's dig into all the points, shall we? 
So we got some nice movement in the head there. I was not expecting it to be on a ball joint, so that's awesome. That gives things a little bit more range as you pose them out. And of course it can rotate a full 360 as expected. And this isn't a point of articulation, but I did want to note that his ears are a softer plastic, so they can kind of bend there. And then I also don't know if this counts as an actual point of articulation, since it's not necessarily a joint, but his trunk is poseable. Seems like there's a bendy wire in there, kind of like Kevin's neck, uh, the, the Spotlight series Kevin. And then his arms there at the shoulders are on ball joints, so they can move back and forth and all around. Same goes for his elbows there. And then his wrists actually have some flexion, which is a nice touch for posing, and they can also rotate a full 360. All of this obviously all applies to the other side as well, so I don't think I need to go into that. But check this out, another articulation point that I wasn't expecting is right here in the middle. His torso also has full 360 degree rotation, which is pretty neat, and kind of the extra mile as far as posability, I think. And then his legs are on ball joints as well, pretty standard for Mattel's 7 inch line, so it should come as no surprise. Uh, but yeah, they can swivel all around for some nice dynamic posing. Lastly, moving around to the back, his tail can be moved up and down and all around too. So really, this figure has a mess load of articulation for being such a round and stout character. I counted 11 points, plus his posable trunk. This figure really has all the details you'd want in a Bing Bong toy. I love the patchwork on his coat there, which is accurate to the film, and all the different textures, especially his cotton candy body. Um, it's just an overall job well done. The Mattel team pulled out all the stops. Um, the only slight details I feel are missing that could have made things a little bit better are if they gave him him his whiskers and then his coat should have been two-toned like a mixture of dark and light browns but other than that this is one fantastic figure and an excellent representation of the classic character now onto the accessories. Bing Bong comes with a yellow Joyous Memory Orb, which is a translucent plastic. I absolutely love that this was included, and it really rounds things out here. And best of all, it can actually be placed inside his bottomless bag, which is also included, of course. Speaking of, here it is. This bag was also an amazing inclusion, since this is a signature part of his look in the film, and a key accessory that was not included with the 2015 Tomy figure. It all looks really solid, pretty much as it looks in the film, or at least very close. The printed candy pattern is very well done. The rope fits right over Bing Bong's head so that he can wear it. And check this out. The best part is you can open it up so that you can put the memory orb inside. How cool is that? All right, I'm going to go ahead and show you here. It just pulls apart like this. The orb pops in like this. And then we close things up like this. <laughs> there we go. And then let's have Bing Bong wear this now so that we can get the full look. There, that looks really nice. I'll give him a little spin here as well, so that you can see the full effect. And then I love how Bing Bong can be posed holding the memory orb as well. I can tell this will make for some sweet photos and or a stop motion video if you're into that. And it's also just a fantastic way to display your figure as well. And since I know many of you are wondering, here's what Bing Bong looks like next to Mattel's basic or core 7-inch scale joy and anger figures, which I did review already in full, so you can check that out if you're interested. Now we really just need fear, disgust, and sadness to complete the crew. So far though, these look really sweet together, so colorful, and just really eye-popping. Moving along, the last thing I wanted to do here, since a handful of you might be curious, I know I was, here's what Mattel's new 2022 7-inch scale Bing Bong figure looks like compared to Tomy's 2015 musical Bing Bong figure, which has music, sounds, and phrases. I always thought that the 2015 version was perfectly acceptable, plus I love the sounds feature, but I will admit Mattel's 2022 version is the better figure all around. I like both in different ways though, and both have a place in my collection. To wrap things up here with a couple more details, I just wanted to say that I like how sturdy he is when standing. He's not precarious at all, so you don't have to worry about him tipping over. The make of it all feels pretty lightweight and plasticky, but quality made overall. It really feels like any of the other figures in this line. And as far as height, Bing Bong measures essentially right at 7 inches tall, maybe just a tad under. He's available right now on Amazon for $21.99. I'll drop the link below in the description. And I have heard from Mattel that the entire Wave 2 of Pixar Featured Favorites figures should be hitting Target stores as well at the end of this month, so we'll see if that actually happens. Well, I guess I had a lot more thoughts in me about this than I thought that I would. Ultimately, this new Bing Bong figure gets a huge recommendation from me, if you couldn't tell, especially for any of you out there who have already been collecting Mattel's 7-inch scale Pixar figures, or plan to. This is also just a great one-off figure if you're simply a fan of Inside Out and love Bing Bong as a character, and it will look super solid on your shelf, desk, or wherever you display your pieces. So, what do you guys think? I feel Mattel has definitely created the definitive Bing Bong action figure here with this one, and I'm incredibly impressed with just about 
about everything here. I'm looking forward to all your comments below, and if you did enjoy this review, I hope you'll consider giving this video a big thumbs up and subscribing to my channel for more Pixar toy news, reviews, and toy hunts. Don't forget to ring that bell, and I will see you all in my next video.